So when we left off in session two, we had the white cross solved, okay, which is the bottom part here. And I think we may have gotten all the way down to solving the corner pieces. So let me actually go ahead and, and do that right now so that we're, we're in that same state. Okay, so now we have the whole bottom layer solved. Now, the steps that we talked about earlier in the presentation were really about solving these four edges here, right? So we wanna put them into their proper location, okay? Um, so first we have to identify where they're at, okay? So I see the one edge here is actually over here, the orange and blue edge. I know that to do that algorithm, I have to bring this blue piece in line with its center piece, right? This is gonna go over in this left edge here, right? And then the algorithm based on what I'm seeing here, I'll do that algorithm, okay? So I'll do it step by step. All right, and so now you see that edge piece is there where it's supposed to be. Now, look around the cube, see what else, what, what other edge pieces are available. Here's one right here. I know I need to move it over to the red match it up with the red center. It's gonna go over here, right to the left. So I know I need to do that same algorithm that I just did. And I'm doing it slow here. When I, when I do it, I typically do it a lot faster. Now move over, let's see another edge. It's right here, it's already above the center. It has to go to the left again. So that same algorithm. Oh, wrong, wrong one. Actually, yep, so let me, actually it was supposed to go over this, the red and green piece actually goes here. So, so when I do that, it'll actually swap out that orange or green piece, okay? And so now I have that orange piece, I, I move to the center here. Now it has, to, it has to go to the left, so I'll do that algorithm. And now I have all two layers solved, okay? Now what if, um, let me, what if you need to go to the right, okay? So, so for instance, uh, this needs to go here. So same algorithm except we we go the other direction, okay? So back up, so it has to go to the right. I, I do the other algorithm that's in the solving handout there based on that situation, okay? And then we can do the same here again. Okay. All right, and so those are solved, okay? So next, we have to solve for the yellow cross on top, okay? So, based on the algorithm, the solving handout, I see I have this this pattern here. This, uh, we call it like an L pattern, right? Um, so based on that algorithm, based on that, I would do this algorithm once or twice. It's just the same algorithm, once or twice. And that's what we have here. I did it uh, twice. Now it gives me the yellow cross on top. So now in session three, we're gonna learn about uh, uh, orienting and permutating the corner pieces where they belong, and then finishing off the Rubik's cube. okay? So hopefully you enjoyed this session. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment below this video and I'll get to you as soon as possible. And if, if need be, I'll even upload a video showing you exactly what I did for your situation. Okay. So, um, but leave a comment below if you have any questions. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.